This is the first morning of camp, and Kay is just finishing up the gun safety briefing. I can assure you that we can get everybody here shooting accurately. Now we want you to shoot <coughs> accurately and fast. And the only way to do that is to have that grip and stance. The nature of babes with bullets has changed dramatically. In the last five years of now taking babes with bullets on the road, five out of 30 women are in the intermediate and advanced part of the program, while we have 25 that are in the novice and not sure what they're doing yet out of a holster part of the program. What made you decide to come to camp? Since my husband got involved in wanting to have guns and protection in the house, I thought maybe somebody in the house would actually not be afraid of the gun or there for protection. <laughs> we both want to feel more comfortable with guns. And I used to shoot years ago, and it was just something I decided to take back up, and I just fell in love with it. My husband got me this uh, for my birthday. So that the birthday was present was Babes with Bullets Camp for That's you. That's right. The ladies that are true beginners with very limited or no shooting experience work on a series of skills with their instructors, figuring out which eye is dominant for seeing the target, which, by the way, doesn't always match with your dominant hand. If I cover that, can you see it with your left eye? No. Okay. And it's just a small piece of tape just to, to block what your pupil would see. That's all it takes. It's easier. It's a lot easier, isn't yeah. it? So yeah. So you never close one eye to shoot. If you can learn to shoot both eyes open with your eyes relaxed, you're much, much better off. It's a vision game and the more relaxed and open, and we're going to be shooting multiple targets. And that's, you know, when I'm shooting over here and I'm in this small target, I'm already see. I know right where that target is because I can see it and come right to it. Or if I close that eye out, now, now you know, I've got, I've got the hunt for it. So. To learning how to grip a gun. Okay, so again, about halfway through. 60%. Okay. Okay. Then there's another technique on stance and how to balance your weight correctly when shooting. It's very easy. I use one finger and push her over, okay? So now she's in a good athletic stance, okay? I can't use one finger. In fact, I'm going to push against her and she's much more able to absorb that recoil, okay, that's coming back. She's able to absorb a whole lot more than that, too. As you can see, campers have a gun in their hand and they're now experiencing for themselves grip and stance with our instructors guiding them. For me, the bottom of the trigger guard hits right here. Okay. Everybody's hands are a little different size, but once you get the grip, you, you'll kind of key off of that. I know that if I put that part of my hand right there, then all I have to do is get my thumb pointed toward the target, and that just squeezes right in. You see how much contact I have with the gun? The, the thumb is actually above the trigger guard, not below it. Okay. And you have to keep this thumb high, a low thumb, moves this left hand all the way down here, high thumb, I can get it all the way up there. Okay. And then press straight back through. Yeah, we don't, okay. So you see, it's uh, it's just, um, you're going to get a much more accurate shot because of that. You take up the slack in it and press straight back through. So we got eyes and ears. So you can insert a loaded magazine into the gun. Make sure that it seats. Okay, before you start firing, make sure of your stance, make sure of your grip, okay? I thought it would just be a bunch of girls running around shooting targets. Even the first day was just, I could not believe the caliber of the instructors that are here mm -hmm. and how patient they are with everyone and just, I learned so much just the first day that I was like, you know, I could go home and just feel comfortable. Okay, when you're ready, watch your front sight, take up the slack, and then press through. You can fire. Okay, let's get that uh, grip a little bit better. Fingers, yep, good. Well, clear. We're clear on that end. Nobody touch guns anymore. We're going to go forward and take a look at the targets. Some got loaded up. Group is good. Is okay. uh, what we're looking for. Okay. And boy, that's a really <laughs> nice target. Nicely done. Because just so you know, the hand and the knee has nothing to do with guns. No. She fell down while she was running <laughs> and accompanying Autumn, who's getting ready for a marathon. Marathon. Mm -hmm. At Disney World. 25, like 26.2 miles. Yes. Oh, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, look at that. She's like shooting the center out. 
<laughs> and how many times have you uh, been shooting? This is my second time. I only shot one time before. Never really done shooting shooting before. Not really. No. Okay. Uh -uh. Would you would you see yourself maybe getting involved in something like action pistol? I would love to. I would absolutely love to. Okay. You tend go ahead and these take high ones. I think you tend to not get that top, that front sight all the way yeah. down in the notch. When I know you you put in for this camp. Months ago, yes. and at that time you were in remission with the with the with the medical condition you've got, Correct. which is I have an autoimmune disorder. Uh, it's characterized by scleroderma, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis. And right now I'm dealing with the rheumatoid part. Oh, owie! Mm -hmm. Meaning it makes you, 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 you very stiff, very sore, very oh. uncomfortable. Okay, Joints now swollen. There you go. One more. All right. Ah, okay, it's a finish. I'm going to show Well, you know what? <laughs> You know what, that's but part the thing of it. Yes, you hit that thing, the smallest piece of steel like right off the bat. Like, how'd you do that? I don't know, I'm just nervous. <laughs> because I've hit a stage of the illness where it's a very difficult period. And this gives me something to keep me pushing forward and looking forward to. And I'm going to call it Warrior Spirit. And I just want to tell you that we look at that, and Kay and I and the rest of the instructors really believe that woman's got the heart for it. Yeah. And a little bit of just, I know I'm outside my comfort zone. B but I'm going to push through. Yeah. I'm going to make it. Yep. And I think you embody that. Yep. So big high five to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Lisa took a picture of me loading my own clip and sent it to my husband. And he sent me a text and he said, wow, that was you loading a clip. I didn't even know you knew how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun. I am loving it. <laughs> I'm just totally loving it.